guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make an adjustable, good adjustable uh, jack table for your laser engraver. Now, well, I had it. I had purchased this from Amazon. Now, this unit here, I do have a review on it on Amazon. It's amazing. It does not uh, move a lot like the other one I had purchased before. But what I end up doing, I was still having some movement. I do not want to have any movement left and right. So what I did, I ended up purchasing these rods here. I'm going to see if I can flip this around and show you guys exactly the details. So I flipped it around. Basically, it was like this. We were talking. So I got two pieces of wood. Okay. It's just like three quarter inch of wood. Three quarter inch of wood. It's just old wood I had laying around. I cut them perfect shape. Now... This, I end up attaching this base here. I open everything and attach the base to here with screws, and I attach the base here with screws. Before I did that, I end up, of course, doing this. So these pieces here, you can get it from Amazon. Uh, basically, are just extension. Just attach the rods. And I got a rods. Okay, and then, then these here are basically um, pushing bushing that straight from like this I don't know how to explain it but it just helps the rod goes in and out okay and of course it goes from the other side at one point I had this already without this uh, I'm not sure you can see these I had a different rods going here and then uh, I had a motor and everything but the belt kept cutting off so I ended up just doing it manually but again, so these are sticking out again every time. So I'm going to try to go like this way here. If I adjust this up and down, back and forth, this will open up. Okay. This will extend. And then I close it. This will close. It's very cold. I'm in the garage. Okay. So this is, of course, this is going to be the bottom. So whatever. Uh, base you do you have to make holes to clear these pieces of steel and then the bars and again what I did in the top so again just to show you guys I got bars just just to prevent this from moving back and forth okay the top piece that's the main goal we do not want to move then I just glue a piece of steel in top I paint it white and just put a grid on it that way so if I'm cutting anything or you know, it'll be safe. I don't want to burn the wood. I can just color the wood, I mean, the piece of steel every once in a while. So, again, this is how it looks. And then I'm going to install it. I'm going to show you my box, how I'm installing it in the box, just to show you guys how easy it is. Okay? So, here's my box. Uh, so, my machine will sit in top over here. Okay? I'll put it in. And then these are the holes. That I made for the legs again. These holes don't worry about them. These were for the other idea I had was the automatic motor up and down. It worked fine for a little bit, then the belt kept cutting off. So I went with manual because uh, I had the space already stable. So who cares if I go manual or automatic? Again, the, they will go here inside. So this is just all the way down. Okay. And I'll put the machine for you guys right now. I'll show you. I'm going to try to do this with one hand holding the camera and one hand holding the piece okay so basically where those rods are I'm gonna go inside the holes to push it should line up and now it's all the way down you can see I uh, again I raise this wood just to have this area upper just to give me more depth you know and then again, adjustable, go up and down, you know, table. Now it's going up, I'm sure you can, it's going down. Okay. You don't need it to go up and down that fast anyway, depends on your what. Then I'll uh, mount my machine in top over here. I put this just piece of wood, okay, glue wood here, wood here, just for the legs so it will not move. And I'll have I have one over here and one over there. 
excuse me, and that should be it. Install this here. For example, this is I can go higher, but you can see I can always flush the surface. In case if I have something small, I can adjust it from here, from up and down. I can go lower, just by just lowering this table here. The lab jack, basically, that's what they call them. Okay, and again, I made it uh, a little bit smaller than my frame. That way, so I won't be touching anything here, tires or something, up and down. I can go up all the way, like, again, all the way up to here. Okay, so it's, uh, and I pushed a little bit more down just to give me more room. So when I use uh, my baby here, I can go lower more and put any object I want and engrave on it. Okay. Uh, here's your setup. I have another video about the whole box, how I made it, what I did. Okay, I hope you guys like it.